Well, this plot of land in the city is getting repurposed. But there's still quite a ways to go before any changes happen here. WDRB's Darby Bean explains the plan. Right now, it's a vacant field. But the Housing Authority plans to redevelop this site in Iroquois back into housing. At the end of the day, there is a need for housing, and we totally understand that. Before focusing on the future, let's start with the history of this property. It used to be known as Iroquois Homes, a low-income housing unit. But it was demolished in separate phases more than a decade ago. Most recently, nonprofits have been leasing the space for an urban farm and gardening. But those groups will now have to find a new location because the Louisville Metro Housing Authority has other plans for the property. Our intent has always been to make that housing, that site housing once again. It's really hard to balance those needs between, you know, what does the community need housing wise? What does it need green space wise? What does it need food wise? When homes were here before, the spot housed a reputation of crime. Those who have been helping with the gardens on the site for years say some neighbors worry a new development could bring the same problems. There's a lot of history of violence here that the neighbors just are really concerned about happening again. But the housing authority says otherwise. I would encourage those same residents to look at the models at Park Duval, at Liberty Green, at Shepherd Square, and now at Beecher Terrace. And, and I think that those that's that's what's more likely. The plans here would be for mixed income housing, about 550 units ranging from market rate to low income. The idea is that you you as neighbors shouldn't be able to tell the difference between the units because they're all intermixed on the site. Community partners met Monday as part of the pre-development plans to talk about what they would and would not like to see. There's no set date on when construction will begin here or be completed. A lot of that will depend on funding. Reporting in Louisville, Darby Bean, WDRB News.